Happening now, some upstate students are researching homelessness in Greenville County. According to Greenville County Schools, more than 1,100 of their students actually experienced homelessness last year. Fox Carolina's Michelle Zhu gives us a closer look. This is the classroom for the next few days for these middle school students. They're building a microstructure. It's part of their homelessness research project. I think pretty soon we're going to be putting the door on. Their teacher, Rebecca Genovese, is the mastermind behind it. We know we're not going to solve homelessness. We don't have that ability, but we can help somebody. We can provide a safe place to sleep. These eighth grade early college students have spent the past two months researching homelessness and laying out the design work for this microstructure. And now they're teaming up with the construction students from Donaldson Career Center to bring it all to life. We have a thousand dollar budget for this tiny shelter. So like we've just been looking around for furniture to go inside to make it kind of feel more of like a comfortable home. Students are aiming to have it complete with a bed and solar power by next week to get one more person off the streets. I was just really like shocked that a third of 3,000 were children in high school. We want it to be used. I think that that would be a really great thing for the kids to see that they made a difference, however small, but they still made a difference as eighth graders. An innovative way to be part of something bigger, even from the classroom. Yeah, it might be just one bed or just a couple of bins of storage, but at least they're off the streets. Reporting in Greenville, Michelle Zhu, Fox Carolina News. Students will present the shelter and the fighting findings, excuse me, next Saturday at the Roper Mountain Science Center, and they're still looking for a permanent location for that home.